people. I was going to do a video on Kansas being the eighth flattest state being flatter than a pancake. I woke up this morning and I thought I'd clear my head and do a little bit more research on this uh, sun and moon and the positions in the sky and all the stuff, you know. And I look at north is the observer being north and so that would be due north at zero and east is always to the right facing north due right facing north and it dawns upon me how can that be if I'm at the 45th north latitude, how can east always be 90 degrees to my right? Shouldn't it be down here somewhere? And west be down here somewhere? And these lines being curved for the east and west? So I start thinking that through and I start pondering that and I'm looking at these globe models for longitude and latitude and it strikes me as odd that I find these charts like this geographic coordinate system it's got Antarctica clear across North Pole's right here, somewhere. South Pole's right down here, somewhere. So I'm getting a little bit more <laughs> confused. And uh, I'm thinking that East and West should have a starting point like north and south does. See that? Everything kind of curves around and back in going north to south. Why isn't it the same with east to west? Like that 30 degree mark right there should have a point on the sphere starting here and going up and back down the same with the south, 30 degree, there should be a reference point if it's a sphere. And this is quite puzzling to me because I do realize that every truth is part lie and every lie is part truth. There's a balance in between there. So I start checking this article out a little bit, trying to figure shit out. And uh, I end up on this one here, and it's the same thing. This is a coordinate converter. And you got your North Pole right here. And all this mass here isn't expanded clear across like Antarctica. Antarctica is supposed to be just a little bit of a island at the bottom of the globe. Much like the North Pole is right here. This little area around the North Pole right here. So it leads me to the conclusion that perhaps they have just took all of this that goes around here and condensed it all around, leaving the 
outside large and the inside still relatively small to its actual size. So I continue to do my research and it, I end up on this ellipsoid. I'm, now I'm looking at the geodetic different uh, flight programs that they have basically and uh, I'm reading down here because I had some words with Wolfie and he's bragging about his WGS 84 flight globe that he uses and the varying history historical accuracy of the ellipsoid and I keep reading this on down and I come down here to the bottom and it says and now we have geocentric datums like WGS 84 and NAD 83 with their major and minor axes. Why isn't it the heliocentric datums like the WGS84 and the NAD83. This here, WGS84, is what is the pilot's flyby now. Anyway, I just found that. I, I closed the one page, I guess because it had a bunch of information on it on this right here now I don't know what's really going on and I don't claim to and that's why I do this research folks and hopefully one of you guys chime in and help me out on this because this is uh Check this out. The first geodetic datum adopted for the United States was based on the Clark ellipsoid with its starting point in Kansas, known as Meads Ranch. And it's really strange that I was actually going to do a Kansas is flatter than the pancake, being the eighth flattest state, and if eight states across the United States are flatter than a pancake and water maintains a level surface tension how you gonna get a globe when my research led me further and further into this page here <laughs> I don't know I just thought I'd share that with you folks and now we have geocentric datums like WGS84 and NAD83. Geocentric datums. Anyway, I've bored you long enough. You do your own research. Share your knowledge and your information. Your wisdom doesn't do any good in your head. Why am I the only one that has to <laughs> appear crazy out here? I don't care. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Peace out.